happy holy Sabbath day, brothers and sisters. So, I wrote this down, I prayed about it, pray about it. All right, here we go. This is what the Holy Spirit made me write, write down. I wrote it yesterday. I've been praying about it. And now it's time. Now, dear God, bless everybody that watches this, that thumbs up, thumbs down, don't thumbs up or down. Uh, please let them follow sound doctrine, God. Show them to repent and flee from sin. Watch over my family, friends, and enemies. In the blood and name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, glory to the Lamb of God, glory be to God, from God, for God, forever and ever. Amen. All right. They won't reprove their hearts for the Word of God, but quick to renounce the Word of God in the name of God. To stay blind in their pleasures of worldly ways and self-righteousness. Be moved and convicted of the word of God in your own heart, not anyone else's. Always keep a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and Jesus. Don't even deceive yourself or others trying to cover up the truth of sin, the truth of conviction, and the true truth of salvation and your redemption. Don't damn yourselves to hell trying to drink with demons and making excuses of why you're trying to drink out of two cups. Or one foot in the door and one foot out the door in the world. Either you submit and commit all the way as a faithful, loyal soldier of Jesus Christ. Or you are an enemy of Jesus Christ. And you're an enemy of God. And if you're an enemy of Jesus and God, you're an enemy of me. Don't stay an enemy. To sound doctrine to Jesus. Because you want pleasures of the world instead of full salvation of Jesus and God. I know this to come to pass. Things of chaos is coming and they will be coming. And no one's going to stop it. No climate policies is going to stop it. N no one's going to stop any of this. God and his holy angels show me the not too far near future at hand some hate the new version of me some say i preach all the time i prophesize too much i preach too much i preach too hard <laughs> amen i know that's right you like that me too quick with my hands remember that now when i say run from sin flee from the flesh heed from the worldly ways they have the spirit of the antichrist The Antichrist is here. Birth pangs are here. The sun is going to get worse. The winter is going to be a deep, dark winter that y'all have never witnessed before. This coming winter, if we make it to winter. I don't care about prepping. I don't care about cars. I don't care about all these flashy wardrobes i don't care about religious groups i don't care about that what y'all need to focus on and care about is jesus your king and lord is coming back very soon <clears throat> and are you ready god is in control many have the antichrist in them running your mouths of hate deceit confusion slander and pleasures of the world and sin of the flesh Many should read Romans chapter 1, 24 and 25. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshiped and served the creature instead of the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Go to God. Don't conform to this world anymore where it will lead many straight to hell in a handbasket not heaven please follow your true calling that God put in you and submit commit convict your laziness 
the shoe fits, slide in. And if you got Jesus flops, slide in. Lace up and slide on in there. Okay? You feel me, wifey? Be precise in your daily prayers. Avoid idols and idol tree. It's anything, anyone, everything, everyone you put before God in Jesus. Read Ephesians chapter 6. Put the full armor of God on and be better than what you was yesterday. Amen. Be what God made you to be. Not what you want to be, what you need to be for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Repent or perish. Pray or suffer what is yet to come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, with that said, I'm just going to read this real fast and close with prayer. In the last days, which we are in the last of the last of days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on every kind of people. Your sons will prophesy. Also, your daughters, your young men will see visions. Your old men dream dreams. When the time comes, I'll pour out my spirit on those who serve me, men and women both, and they'll prophesy. I'll set wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below. Now, God ain't going to do nothing until all the true men and women of God, servants of God, prophets of God, True men and women of God, preachers, pastors, deacons, watchmen. We are here to warn you first. We are here to tell you these things that are about to come to pass. And they're about to come to pass. And are you ready? Are you ready? Ask yourself, are you truly ready? Are you truly submitted to God? Do, do you have conviction in your heart and soul? Do you have the Holy Spirit in your veins? God be telling me, showing me this. Some of y'all, y'all are gaming too much. You're doing too many drugs. Be sober minded. Sound mind. You're cursing too much. Y'all, y'all, y'all are idolizing actresses and actors and musicians when none of them got the Holy Spirit on them. You're over there watching ungodly things. And sorry, watching ungodly things. Get that out of your vision now. Man, flee. Run. Run from sin. Run from the flesh and run from these worldly ways, y'all. November last year, I said this loud and clear and plain. We got major events coming in September. Horrific events are about to happen in September. It's going to come to pass. We're going to have a dark winter. You better believe it. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Jesus, thank you for your holy word. Thank you for showing me what you show me. Thank you for the audible voices. Thank you for telling me what to tell them. To witness to them. Preach to them. And try to give them the holy word the best I can, Lord. Thank you for using me as an instrument for my calling. I will stay submissive to you, God. I will stay submissive to Jesus. I will never, ever backslide or be lukewarm ever again. I will never go back to sin, and I'll be better than what I was yesterday. Forgive us all of our sins, O oh Lord. Please transform them like you transformed me last year in November. Please, God, show them vis visions and dreams to wake them, wake them up, wake up the church, even wake up the people that's in the church. I saw many Christians in the church going to hell more than the people in the street. Quit being lukewarm, Lord. Quit, quit being uh, uh, part-time Christians. God, show them, Lord. In Jesus' almighty name, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Go to God. Real simple. It ain't rocket science.